love the label. On this, although it kind of looks like um, a bottle of maple syrup, but that's it okay. Kind of does. It's all right. I mean, you can pour it on your waffles if you like. Why not? Welcome again, friends. Uh, we're deviating a little bit this time. We did a scotch, we did a bourbon today. Now we're going to do beer. <laughs> so that violates bottom shelf right there. Sorry, so I was thinking a of a George Thurgood song. I'm um, back. I'm back. Our, our typical rules were full-size bottle of liquor, $20 or less. This is a deviation in that this is a liqueur. Liqueur. Um, and it's a, a, a low octane liqueur. Yeah, so the liqueur is yeah, French like for it is desperate. Fifteen percent alcohol by volume, thirty proof. So this is basically like a wine. Mm. Um, but it's something I've had on my radar for a while because I really liked the uh, labeling and the bottle itself intrigued me. This is uh, Kings Creek Black Label Cider Seasonal Blend. Mm -hmm. It is a mix of whiskeys blended with apple cider. Yeah. Which, it's impressive that it's so clear for having been blended with apple cider. Um, it also says that um, it's right? got caramel coloring in it and natural flavors, mm. which, which could mean pretty much anything you want because anything, technically yeah. cyanide is a natural flavor. <laughs> That's true. Hiking through the snowy woods, skating on a frozen pond, basking in the warmth of a mountain cabin, boons of the winter season. Savor the crisp snack of apple in our seasonal blend of Kings Creek Black Label Cider. A special winter offering featuring our original Smoky Mountain Kings Creek Black Label Whiskey. That's a mouthful. Enjoy I, warm, straight up, on the rocks, or mix. I am a big fan of a good cider. Um, shout out to um, Congaree and Penn here in Jacksonville. Make one of the best ciders out of it. I love their cider. Is that the place Actual, that we have? Yeah. Cork. Actual, Actual cork. cork. Yeah. yeah, cork. Not fake cork. Cork, cork. Oh yeah, no, that's real cool. We've already pre-chilled this just a tiny bit. Mm, and a wood. Yeah, wood top. So it's we, so we like highfalutin. This yeah. is fancy. It's fancy. It's fancy. fancy AF. You got thingamadoodles with real and, cork uh, there. You can't see it, but this is a nice, heavy glass bottle. Yeah, that, they did not skimp it's over like glass. A, it's like the large version of a medicinal bottle. From the old I was Chinese. just thinking, <laughs> it's like a uh, Wild West medicinal bottle. <laughs> I need to go down to the pharmacy and get my medicines. Ooh. Spices, oh. baking spices. Yeah. It's a weird I smell butter. Apple pie no, butter. No, no, I no. smell butter in there too. Like that was the first thing I smelled was no, butter. No, it was butter. Like, that's wham! Smells, that smells just, like apple tart. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I got high hopes for this. I really did. Dude, this makes you want to get like Panera Bread or something and get it Danish. So like, come on. Just treat us right. Here we go. We're going in. Uh. That it's, doesn't taste alcoholic. It's really That's dangerous. Sweet. It's, it's super really sweet. sweet. It it tastes like an apple cinnamon candle smells. Very astute. Yeah. Uh, I like your observation. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, I don't know how to better explain that. It is very sweet. It is very sticky. It's almost, yeah, yeah. It, it's it sugary. Has, it has just subtle cinnamon. The butter is prevalent. Yeah, I'll, like bet if you, I'll bet if you get some kind of hot toddy with this, like with an actual cinnamon stick, and, you know, I'll bet you could make some kind of that mm. leads into winter warm thing it's with this. A little sweet for me. For some people, this really may fit the palate well because it's so sweet. It is very sweet. You could put it over ice, and it will probably cut some of that cloying stickiness. It is sticky. Yeah. Um, I this would actually be really good in apple pie. Yeah. Like instead of using like vanilla extract, which yeah. you should do anyways, um, using this to create like the slurry for the apple pie with the cornstarch, dude, that would next level your apple pie. I, 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 I get a little bit of yeah, I think I yeah. think you're onto something there. I get a little nutmeg in this too. Mm -hmm. A little hint. Um, I wish that this were thirty percent and not thirty proof. It's I a agree. little too low. Yeah. Um, I would agree. If I were gonna do this, I would probably toss in a little bit of rum. Just mm. to up the proof a little bit. If I were going to make this into a cocktail, I would use this mm. as the simple syrup and some flavoring. In lieu of like Cointreau. Yes. Like swap any mm. recipe where you would have a correlative Cointreau. I have a theory. Oh my. All right. 
hold on, I got to re up a little bit because I'm trying to make it on this. So we're going to mix it with mm -hmm. our last submission, a little bit of benchmark, just to up the octane. My theory was correct. <laughs> so what? I winged it. Do you want that? No, oh. I'm going to be a crazy white man. Oh, you are going to be crazy white man. No, my theory was correct. Because this has a buttery <laughs> flavor to it. Ooh, that good call. Was nothing but liquid fire. Good call. <laughs> We're gonna but I agree think, to disagree. I think the fire and the you know, I think the sweet will cancel the fire. Uh, out. potentially true. Potentially, potentially true. But the, the, true. the citrus aspect to it may cut through some of that. Too. Would you would put lemon in apple pie anyways in order to make sure that it's not so like slap your face sweet? Oh damn! Come on, come on now. And this what? is how we got COVID. Gave us some wisdom. <laughs> it works. It works. Yeah. Oh, I think that works even a little bit better than that. All right. Call bullshit on me. I mean, no. I'll call bullshit on you. Maybe it's <laughs> yeah, I'm so No, shits. that's... It, it works. It just... It still doesn't. Yeah, nope, nope, nope. This is, this is this and this. The benchmark? Yeah, that? the benchmark. Okay. Okay, there's a slight undertone to the scotch. If you don't like the scotch flavor, it's, it's like, not like this. It, is like, full disclosure, to me, the undertone of that is dirty socks. Like, that, <laughs> that straight ruined what was I delicious. guarantee you, I guarantee you, there are people in the whiskey community that are going, dirty socks. <laughs> Probably. Mm. <laughs> like, I guarantee it. Guarantee it. Putnam County process. Iodine and smoke. Okay. Now, dirty socks. Yeah. With this. Let me, let me see that bench. Brought the amplitude to the booze yeah. that cuts the sticky. Yeah. It it, does, it, these two I, get along. It cuts well. the sticky. They, they do get along really, really so well. I would go just a little bit more bourbon in there, like yeah. two to one, yeah. because mm -hmm. it needs that tannic yeah. note yeah. to really cut out the stickiness. But I mean, this you could put over ice, you could put over yeah. ice cream. Yeah. yeah. You could you could probably actually reduce this in a caramel sauce. That's right. Actually was put over an apple pie or over an apple tart. Absolutely. Like, I could see this as a um the ingredients of a like a, a cider martini. A cider martini. And how much does this go? A hot a hot tea. This weighed in at fifteen dollars. Okay, That's so not bad. you're not going to be drinking this under an overpass. So no. Out of a brown paper bag. No. I mean, if you fancy. That doesn't have the. <laughs> doesn't have the. You can put it. What? In no. When you can get this for when you can get this for ten and it's got three times the octane. I, okay. Like, okay no, fair. Come on. Fair. If you're on. if you're under an overpass, you're probably not going to go for the less fancy. for more. We're going to pay you less for more. Go out with style. Now, okay. let's, let's look at it from the lens that it was probably targeted. If you've got family over, yeah. Oh no, and this Aunt Melinda Melinda doesn't team. normally drink. Oh, right, okay. you'd have to thin out the, the stickiness a little bit, but the, this alcohol range is going to fit a lot of people a lot better than these. You know, else, you know what else I think this might be good in? The Coke. Hmm. An apple Coke. Yeah. Hmm. Why not? Dude, I mean vanilla Coke, weird. cherry Coke. They did know. that dream Coke that's this terrible. month ago. Yeah, but that's just, unfortunate. And no it was unfortunate. <laughs> this would be more fortunate. That, I don't know that I'd want apple in my Coke. I'd give it a shot. Apple in my ginger ale? Yes. I absolutely agree. That would apple in my ginger, ginger ale? ale? That would actually probably take it closer to like apple soda, the German yes. apple liqueur. Yes, yes. Or, gin uh, or, ginger, or ginger beer. Or ginger, ginger beer. Ginger beer in this would be good. Because so, be ginger happens. beer by itself to me is usually a little too spicy. Like honestly, mm. with this being the seasonal blend, yeah. ginger beer. I imagine a big pot of hot black tea. Oh. And you use this to sweeten it. To oh, spice absolutely. it, well if you done. throw it an orange so slice in there well and you done. hand that out over Thanksgiving, everyone's going to love it. It is so sweet that you really could use there. that as, ah, as like yeah. a, a sweetener or a simple syrup replacement yes. in a cocktail. Yeah, this yeah. would, would be a big hit at a Christmas, at a Christmas party. In, used in the right way, yeah. that would be a big hit. You can, make, um, you can mix that with uh, the or right kind of light. You can mix this with the right kind of light soda and make it into an office punch. Mm -hmm. For the airing of grievances. Yeah. You've got a lot of problems with you people. You're going to hear it. <laughs> no, this is... To George I mean, this is even, Kansas Father. Yeah. This, is, this is good straight. This is not going to get you drunk. No. Not going to get me drunk. It's, well, it's, I mean, it may get like a high school drunk. 
The back to our core, um, yeah, I think this is a resounding thumbs up. Yeah, no, that's With the delicious. caveat of if you don't have a sweet tooth and you don't like sweet. Yeah, if you don't like sweet, don't you're not going to like that. No, that is, it's like apple cider concentrate. Yeah. yeah. It's delicious. Yeah, it is delicious, it is, but it's, it's really not good. like an alcohol thing. It's a no, nature thing. It's which a hot makes thing. it, in it's, my mind, yeah. dangerous. It's yeah, because because like you took an apple cider and then boiled it down to a yes, and reduced it to yes. a light syrup, not yes. all the way to where you have like caramel, mm -hmm. but to a lighter syrup. You reduced it instead of say seventy five percent, you reduced it fifty percent, and then you filtered it. It's very smooth, but it's very sweet. But that's when I was like, again, I think it's this is potentially dangerous, and that oh, because okay. it is still thirty proof. You could power through this bottle and not realize you are hammered. <laughs> and another caveat, if we happen to get anyone outside of the U.S., when we talk about apple cider, we're talking about U.S. cider, which is basically spiced apple juice. Yeah, not, well, not here. Yeah. The yeah. alcoholic is hard cider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in this, and this is different than hard cider. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So there you go.